At noon, ship A is 100 kilometers west of ship B. Ship A is sailing south at 35 kilometers per hour. Ship B north at 25 kilometers per hour. How fast is the distance between the ships changing at 4 p.m.? Okay, so the problem we're trying to solve is taking place at 4 p.m. So what does the relationship between the two ships look like at 4 p.m.? So let's say they started here. Ship A is to the west of ship B. They both start on this line at noon. After four hours, ship A gets, let's say, here. Ship B sailing north, but at a slower rate. At 4 p.m., it's here. Okay, so this is at 4 p.m. Okay, so at 4 p.m., how fast is this distance changing? Okay, so we need some equation for this distance D that relates ship A and ship B. Let's see if we can use right triangles to relate A, B, and D. And let's call this distance DA and this distance DB. And we're not putting physical numbers here because th this distance is constantly changing. We, we put 100 here because this distance never changes. This distance is always changing. Okay, so Pythagorean theorem. Let's say like this is X and this entire distance is Y. And this is the hypotenuse. So this big triangle here, right? It's the right triangle. So this first side is DB plus DA squared plus 100 squared is equal to to d squared. So there we go. Now we have a, a relation between the position of a, the position of b, and the distance between them. But since we're trying to find the rate of change of d at any moment in time, let's take the derivative of this equation with respect to time. Now we're going to do implicit differentiation. So what is the derivative of db plus da squared with respect to time? Derivative of 100 squared. This doesn't change, so this is zero. Now the derivative of d squared, so Okay, so we're looking for d dot. So let's solve for d dot. Okay, now we just need to fill in these values. Okay, well, the rate of change of, of db and da, we have that. That's constant. Now you might say, well, isn't da going in the negative direction? Well, no, once we set up this problem, think of it as just a geometry problem now, right? Like as this triangle gets bigger or smaller, and, and, and at the same time, this triangle is getting bigger or smaller, what's happening to this big triangle? So the rate of change of da is positive. This triangle is getting bigger. db is also in increasing. This triangle is getting bigger. However, at 4 p.m., there's one unique value of dA and one unique value of dB and one unique value of d. How can we solve for that? Well, dA at 4 p.m., the ship has traveled south for four hours at 35 kilometers per hour, 140 kilometers. Okay, and dB traveled at 25 kilometers per hour for four hours, so 100 kilometers. This is at 4 p.m., so solving for d, so now at 4 p.m. we have dA, db, and d. So now let's just plug these into our formula. And that's your answer.